Hey guys, this is Michael Tarallo with Click. In this video, I will introduce and show you how to use the ClickSense KPI chart object. The KPI object can be used to quickly track performance of your metrics. Using conditional styling and defined thresholds, you can easily highlight alerts and comparison differences. The addition of graphics, such as trending arrows and other symbols, add additional visual notification, allowing you to understand the progression of your goals. Let's take a look at how you set up a KPI object. The KPI object is fairly simple to configure. If you're using ClickSense Desktop or the ClickSense Server, you'll notice within the design view a object named KPI in the Charts panel. So I'm going to drop that right onto the canvas. Keep in mind I've already created my app and loaded it with data. And I have a button here to add a measure. This is for the first main measure. And I have a value here of sales, which will be my main metric. And I will choose the aggregation of sum. And technically, that's all you need to do to configure the KPI object. Now, you'll notice within the properties panel on the right, uh, we have some settings here. So I can change the label and I can change the formatting. Okay, now keep in mind a note on the formatting is depending on the font size, the container will denote the actual display of the value. So for example, if I make the font size small, I can use a small container to represent the value without the dot dot dot, uh, representing that there's more data to be seen. If I use a medium value, you'll have to size the container accordingly. Um, there is a feature here where you can actually uh, link the actual KPI object to another sheet. Uh, that comes in handy maybe if you want to show uh, additional detail for the particular aggregated value that is displayed. Uh, you can just turn that on and then select the sheet that is in the app. And then we can also add a secondary or uh, complementary value as well. If we go to our values for our fields, I'll choose cost and I'll drop it right on top of the object and I'll add that as an aggregate. And you can see it's represented by a, uh, a smaller font size next to sales. And for the video, let me just uh, make my font size a little uh, larger. And then for the data for that particular value here, I'm going to choose the auto formatting. Keep that in mind as well. So for uh, some of sales, for example, I'm going to change that to auto as well to adjust the size the appropriate placeholder values will be used um, next to the number when auto is set. Next, we can cover conditional colors. So for this particular metric, each metric has a section for conditional colors. So for sales, I'm going to choose that. And then we could add our limits. And what I'll do is I'll add uh, two limits, or adding two more limits for a total of three. Uh, my max value here will say it will be two million. And then what you can do is you will adjust the segments accordingly and it will divide the numeric up for each segment. And then you can choose your color by selecting the uh, color palette. And maybe we'll start out with red. You can choose a uh, glyph if you'd like, or which is just like a graphic. And I'll choose yellow. And then we'll choose green. Okay, and these values for the um, expressions as well as your uh, min and max and your limits, they can be um, dynamic with expressions based on other incoming values. All right, so let's kind of give you a quick little run through of this. What I'm going to do is just grab country. Now keep in mind my data set here is the complete data set. So 1.78 million is the completed aggregated values for all the countries in the data. So if I go into a uh, view mode and I choose a single country, you'll see the value and the conditional styling take place here. Okay, and as I select more values, you can see the colors will go from um, yellow to red, to green, etc. All right, and then if I click on the KPI, I click it again, and it'll actually bring me to another sheet that I might have configured. Uh, there isn't any parameterization in this link. It just basically just brings you directly to another sheet uh, when linked. 
Okay, and let me just give you another meaningful example. I have one created here within my uh, predefined visualizations. This one basically shows this year's sales versus last year's sales. And the expression I'm using is a simple set analysis expression uh, that defines the sales for um, the current year and then the previous year. And then I have a year filter here that kind of simulates the this year versus last year. And uh, you can see the difference within the conditional styling for those values. So I hope that was helpful. Uh, join me on the next video where I will go into the pivot table.